Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom, week 30 of my pregnancy, of your pregnancy. Congratulations. Let's take a look at week 30. At week 30, your baby weighs three pounds and is 16 inches long, the size of a cabbage. At this point, you can expect your baby to gain approximately half a pound per week. For comparison, it took your baby 19 weeks to gain his or her first pound. So the weight gain now is really picking up. As your baby starts to gain more and more white fat to regulate their temperature, the laguno, that sort of soft, fuzzy peach fuzz, will become a thing of the past. Although many babies are born with this and it's very adorable and totally normal. By week 30, your baby will have eyebrows, eyelashes, and maybe even a cute little tuft of hair on his or her head. Your baby is gaining a lot of muscle at this point. If you were to hold their hand, you might be able to get a solid grip with a finger. That's how strong they are. Finally, to get really medical, the bone marrow is now producing red blood and not the spleen. Just like you, your baby's working hard to make sure that he or she has enough blood production going on in that little body. Symptoms, I find myself getting more and more tired. I feel like I'm waddling, I feel just like, like things take the wind out of me. This is very common at week 30. You might be experiencing some of the symptoms that you had previously. Let's talk a little bit about exercise and the belly. I'm doing very gentle things, gentle walking, 20 minutes of swimming, 20 minutes on the pre-core, a very low level, and some prenatal sort of yoga type stretches, that's it. I'm just sort of trying to maintain, take it easy, not stress myself out too much, nothing too rigorous. Here is the week 30 belly. I really feel now like it's getting out there. I don't know how you guys see this. I don't know how you feel. There's a big range when it comes to bellies. Don't worry if you feel smaller, if you feel bigger. And another thing that will really help with the belly and actually shrinking the uterus is breastfeeding because it burns off a lot of calories and it actually physically shrinks the uterus. So a lot of people, a lot of women have cramps when they breastfeed because they feel the belly going <laughs> So that is a very, common thing. Quick note about something that is not, you know, what we all like to talk about, but it's something you really have to think about if you have a history of this and you're pregnant. And I have a much more detailed chart up on my site, eating disorders. If you feel that you're suffering from an eating disorder, either anorexia or bulimia, where you're trying to restrict your caloric intake, you must get professional help if you are pregnant. You must. This is not a time for carefully or obsessively watching your weight. And I will say that as someone who has struggled with body image issues and eating disorders, that pregnancy, having a baby really helped me. It helped me to get over them, actually. I had quite a few struggles in college during my 20s and the first pregnancy really, really helped me in my other subsequent pregnancies. I found myself much more able to just focus on feeling good about myself, being healthy, exercising, and not having extremes in terms of eating too much or eating too little. And I think a lot of women go through that, so keep the faith. But if you are struggling with this, you must get professional help because now there's another little person there. We have to make sure that that person gets exactly what he or she needs. Doctor's appointments, I'm gonna sort of just whip through this quickly because some of the things that your doctor could be presenting and most of these things are very uncommon, I've already talked about in prior weeks. First, you wanna confirm your week 32 appointment. Your doctor could be offering a biophysical profile. I talked about that in week 26. A contraction stress test, which I talked about in week 28. A non-stress test, I also discussed that in week 28, or Tdap vaccination, which I talked about in week 27. A checklist for week 30 of the pregnancy schedule, or make sure you have scheduled your week 32 appointment. Exercise, continue to hydrate. Make sure to wear flats and sneakers when you're out. Forget the heels at this point. Wear sunscreen when you go out. I have gotten a lot of sunspots. I don't know if you could see them here. I think this is what they call driver's skin damage. I'm often in the passenger seat. I'm very fair. I wear a hat, I wear a ton of sunblock, but you can still get them. So try to really cover up. I think I've gotten a few more during this pregnancy, unfortunately. Do a test drive to the hospital to see how long it will be, uh, maybe even at a couple different times so that you can assess traffic. That should make you feel calm. And stick to your Kegel exercises. Congratulations, mamas, to be you are so close, I am so close. Hang in there, feel good, get rest, stay hydrated, take care of yourself. See you back next week for week 31.